Welcome back to another unsolicited and only care football analysis by your friend David Valentin. This time to talk about Orlando City's um, position on the table, how everything ended. Orlando City fortunately went to Montreal, got all three points, getting a 2-0 result in a very, very hostile environment. Again, against a very, very good team. I'm going to take anything away from Montreal. Um, in uh, very, very cold weather, especially for us here in Central Florida. So, Orlando City went there, got got the business done. Unfortunately, had Orlando City received their rifle two points against Nashville, then Orlando City would have ended in the fourth uh, position, and that would have meant hosting rather than being on the road. Now, the benefit, if we can find something positive in this, this whole mess, is that Orlando City is not going to be on the opposite side of the bracket uh, from um, New England Revolution. Right now, New England Revolution is the team to beat in order to get to MLS Cup. So, right now, it, the New England is going to have a bye the first week. They are going to be um, playing the winner between... New York City and Atlanta. Atlanta having to go to uh, most likely Yankee Stadium. Uh, a place that, to be honest with you, is super difficult to win in. Orlando City, I believe, has only done it two or three times in the last uh, seven, eight years. I think that we've been in the league. Uh, it's a super difficult place to play. If you want to know more about Yankee Stadium, I have a video uh, where I talk about uh, the conditions of this particular pitch in relation to the rest of the league and I find it very interesting so if, if you would like uh, it's uh, uh, part of my library so you can go ahead and look for it um, the, uh, the it's gonna be a very difficult place for uh, for Atlanta it's gonna be out in the elements it's very cold right now in New York City and uh, it's gonna be a very complicated surface and size so New York City is the favorite uh, to go win that game. Now, when it comes to the opposite side of the table, uh, we're going to be going uh, March, tw uh, sorry, March, <laughs> November 23rd. Uh, this is on record from when I'm recording, not this Tuesday, the following Tuesday, uh, to Nashville, a team which uh, Orlando City matched very well uh, throughout the season. And... Um, in, in, in a situation where I feel that is a very winnable game. Uh, Nashville finished the season not ever losing at home. They have a ton of ties. Uh, we have seen that situation before with Orlando City in 2016 where they rarely lost, but they tied a ton of games. And that not necessarily is good in a playoff situation because um, Orlando City, as he stands right now, has never since 2011 lost a round of PKs ever so the luck the experience is with Orlando City and this particular um, group of players has already been to several uh, penalty shootouts in Open Cup against New York City in the playoffs against New York City uh, against LAFC in the MLS's back tournament. So for these guys, this is this is nothing new. Um, and I feel that if we go there and it goes down to penalties, uh, my money is on Orlando City. How do we play that game? Easy. We have to score first. If we allow them to score first, they're going to buckle and they're going to park the bus and they're going to absorb our attack and we're going to probably lose 1-0 or maybe 2-0 because we're going to give up a goal and then maybe after that they loosen up a little bit and we just go ahead and score and it be a 2-1 uh, result and see you later. And I have said, I'm on record, that I always felt that Orlando City has such a... Uh, uh, inadequacies in the attack that makes it uh, not the greatest. Uh, if you look at who scored the goals this season, two names come to mind with 10 goals apiece, Nani and Daryl DK. Following them 
is uh, two players uh, that will be that will be uh, Junior Urso and I believe oh Junior Urso and uh, Benjamin Shaw with four goals apiece, and then you have a barrage of people with three goals. I think it's like uh, Robin Jansen, um, Antonio Carlos. Uh, Sylvester Van Der Water. I mean, like a bunch of people. Like everybody else is just like a goal here and there. What troubles me is that we have a ton of defenders with more than one, at least one goal or more. Uh, so on our attack, uh, we were not productive at all. Um, uh, Chris Mueller only had four goals this season. Uh, a guy that last year basically was in double digits. So, yeah, I, I, this may be it for Orlando City, but anything can happen in the playoffs. The other game on our side of the bracket is Philadelphia versus Red Bulls. Red Bulls super dangerous. Uh, they got themselves to the playoffs last minute, and uh, they have done this 12 years in a row, so they are not a foe to be played with. Um, I, In all honesty, if we win our game against Nashville and Red Bulls wins their game, then we get to host. Now, the problem is, is that Red Bulls was our bogey team this last season. So do we really want to host a team that has a good possibility of uh, knocking us off? We will have to find out. Um, so with that said, that's the situation. Um, finishing six uh, basically says that with the exception of Red Bulls, uh, we're going to be on the road regardless, which is a scenario that I really did not want. But it is what it is, my friends. Uh, football is cruel and unpredictable. So um, if you have seen the videos that have come out, you see that um, the guys are super motivated. Um, the guys uh, are really ready for this. For a lot of these players, this is it with Orlando City. So they definitely are going to want to give their everything. This year is going to be a first for MLS for the first time. It's going to be playing on Thanksgiving week. In fact, there's a game on Thanksgiving Day that will be a first for the league. Um, if Orlando City wins their game, like I said, they could be either on the road to Philadelphia or hosting Red Bulls. Um, we match very well with Philadelphia. I felt that our defeat at Philadelphia was due to the incompetence of Pro. That on decision day cost LA Galaxy their spot in the playoffs. And it cost um, Sporting Kansas City the first position in the West. Meaning that now they're going to play with everybody else rather than have that bye. Uh, and with that, uh, if I can give it two seconds to it. I think the incompetence of the league now is, is so well known that I feel that it may affect the integrity and the trust of the fans onto the league because who, what, where do we know if the league is, you know, where is the safety net for the league to say these are the protections to prevent match fixing either by league interest or by a particular uh, referee? To just get a desired result. Um, this is very common. Some parts of the world. Where officials are bribed all the time. Here in the United States. We pride ourselves. Of being fair and clean. And I think situations like this. Put that into question. And shouldn't be. But that's a story for another day. So that's where we are my friends. Right now. March 23rd. Oh, well, I keep saying March. November 23rd. At. Uh, Nashville, Orlando City will be facing uh, Nashville um, Soccer Club and uh, we should see uh, what's going to happen. Uh, I always say, let the football decide. Uh, we managed to accomplish the gold. It's, a, it's a, like a different season now. Um, my, I, I have to remind everybody that we managed to get that result in uh, Montreal with our nanny and Pato. They're fresh. They're ready to go. So I think they might be the uh the the agent of change in that game that may uh turn our fortunes so we'll have to see thank you very much vamos orlando see you next video